Good afternoon, all of you God-loving people. It's the unknown prophet known as Fred Watkins again. And I am here to give you a word from the Lord that I received back on the 7th. I'm sorry, it's being posted on the 7th. It's being posted today on the 7th. I received it on the 29th of last month. And it's, it's very much in line with everything the Lord has been saying, which doesn't surprise me. But when I went to him on the 29th, he simply said to me, tonight I want you to go and write what I give you. And so here we go. There was no vision. This was strictly spoken. I, the Lord God, speak this to my people this night. I am sick and tired of the enemy pushing my people around and trying to destroy my nation, my word, my church, and all that has to do with me and this nation. I will put up with it no more. You, my people, have been praying and asking me to intervene in this fight, and I have, but not as you will begin to see me now. Watch me, my people, for I will begin to give you something to praise me about, something more than normal. Those who are standing against me shall fall. I know that much points to the destruction of this nation. Much of what, and he emphasized much in both of these cases, much of what Biden and his party are doing and have done has been destructive and is getting worse. <clears throat> Excuse me. But they forget about me, if they even believed I exist. They are about to find out. I have heard every prayer and decree that my people have uttered, and I have weighed them against those who hate me, and I find them well outweighing those against me so much so that it is time for me to act. My people know this. I will soon be giving you timetables for certain things to take place, such that you will be able to look at them and say to each other, he did what he said he was going to do. And he, again, I miss emphasizing this, in that he said, my people, and he emphasized, know this. I will soon be giving you timetables for certain things to take place, such that you will be able to look at them and say to each other, he did what he said he would do. And you will begin to praise me as never before. You will begin to trust me as you never have before. And that is what I desire not just the salvation of the nation, but also of those who love me, those who will bring more of the people that I love into my family. And know this, those who hear from other nations, I am doing a thing in many of your nations that you have not yet seen, but you will, for you have stood by me when times were good and when times were not good. You have not backed away, I have seen that, and I will honor it. Trust me and continue walking with me. Continue to pray. You will see my hand on your nation in the near future, for I love you as my own, for you are my own, my family. I, the Lord your God, have spoken this. Keep your spiritual eyes open as well as your physical eyes, and watch what I will be doing in the coming months. It's a pretty strong statement. I, he, he, he struck on something there that strikes a chord with me. I do hesitate whenever there are dates and time frames given. I have seen so many of them fail. God himself said that it's his problem, not mine. <laughs> And he's so right. <laughs> so, 
So I give this to you as the heart of God. He is speaking strongly, and I think he will begin to speak even more strongly. So, like he said, keep your spiritual ears open, keep your physical ears open, and keep your eyes open, and watch what God Almighty is going to do. There's, there's something I do need to say before I quit. I've been talking much about hearing God. I don't want you to get the impression that I just ask God and he gives me all the answers I want. There's many times when I say God is such and such and so and so, and he says, it's not time for you to know that. Or I'll tell you at another time. But he talks to me and he lets me know that. And so he doesn't leave me in the dark. He tells me that it'll come later or I don't need to know it. There are times, very few now, where he doesn't answer. And when he doesn't, I know that there's probably something going on with me that I need to check and I start doing a self-analysis. And usually I find out that that's exactly what it was. So in talking about hearing God, continue to seek to try to hear him. He's speaking to you all the time. It's just that you have to discern his voice against all other voices. And it's a blessing when you do. Okay, enough said. I'll shut my mouth now and leave everything else up to God. God bless you guys. I appreciate those who follow and those from other nations who may be hearing this, if you'll do me a favor and just, if you make a comment, list your nation at the bottom of the comment because I'm taking every Friday to try to pray for the list of nations that I have of those that I've picked up on who are following. Again, thank you. God bless and have a blessed week.